Have you ever wondered why dogs have some truly bizarre behaviours? From licking feet to following you to the bathroom, these quirky habits often leave us puzzled. But what if I told you there are scientific explanations behind them? Let's dive into the fascinating world of canine behaviour and uncover the surprising reasons behind these actions. Dogs have certain behaviours that seem strange to us, like licking feet, um, following you to the bathroom, and sniffing people's behinds. Fortunately, there are scientific studies that have investigated these behaviours, and the answers to some of them are surprising. I'll start with one that has certainly caught your attention at some point. Um, The first thing to know is that dogs have different hearing from us. Um, um, sometimes when they hear a new or interesting sound, they tilt their heads to try to hear better. Their ears are large and sometimes they need to adjust them to pick up the sound better. Also, they are trying to understand where the sound is coming from. When your dog tilts its head and you laugh or praise it, it loves it. You are giving attention and that pleases it very much. Um, So without realising it, you are rewarding this behaviour and it's likely to continue because it knows you like it. If this behaviour surprised you, wait until you see the next one, digging the ground after doing their business. Many people think that dogs dig to hide their faeces, but it's actually something else. Dogs are territorial animals and use their sense of smell to communicate by digging the ground after doing their business they are leaving their olfactory mark, their scent. They have scent glands in the pads of their paws. So by digging, they spread their scent around the area. Both males and females do this, leaving information about age, health, and even stress levels. When you see your dog dancing after going to the bathroom, remember that it's leaving its business card. Speaking of their needs, let's see another behavior that is closely related. Circling before doing their business. One of the main reasons is safety. So doing their business is a vulnerable moment for the dog. So before putting themselves in that situation, they make sure there are no dangers nearby. Also, by circling, they're analysing the ground, seeing if it's comfortable for them. Furthermore, they are leaving their scent in the area through the pads of their paws. Um, However, if your dog circles a lot and seems to have difficulty... It may be constipated and it would be a good idea to consult the vet. The most interesting part is the theory that dogs have a kind of internal compass. According to research, they may be using the Earth's magnetic fields to position themselves when doing their business, orienting themselves to the north or south. Curious, isn't it? Now let's move on to another behaviour, running while sleeping. Have you ever seen your dog moving, kicking, or even running in the air while sleeping? This is common because dogs like us also go through the REM or rapid eye movement phase of sleep where they have vivid dreams. In this state, your dog's body may react to what it's dreaming about, like chasing a ball or playing with another dog. Usually, there's nothing to worry about. It's in its dream world, enjoying a good run. Another behaviour that's very common is accompanying you to the bathroom. Um, Your dog may follow you for pure companionship and affection, since it enjoys being close to you as a social animal. Um, Sometimes it can be a protective instinct, and some dogs even try to sniff under the door to confirm that you're there and get uh, information about what you're doing. Um, If it becomes anxious or um, scratches the door when you're inside, it may be a sign that it has difficulty coping with loneliness. We can't forget about the so-called Velcro dogs, breeds that tend to be more attached to humans due to thousands of years of joint evolution. If you have one of these, you know why it follows you everywhere. Now, a behavior that may surprise you, staring at you while doing their business. If your dog stares at you while it does its business, don't be alarmed. It's actually quite common who lived in packs and protected each other, especially in vulnerable situations like this. You may have contributed to this behaviour unknowingly. 
If you rewarded your dog with treats and affection when it was a puppy and did its business outside, it's likely that it has associated looking at you while doing its business with receiving a reward. However, it's important to understand that not all dogs do this. If you have a more fearful or insecure dog, it's more likely to observe this behavior. On the other hand, more confident dogs may take advantage of this moment to mark territory without seeking your gaze. Are you enjoying the video? If so, I ask that you subscribe to the channel and leave a like because it helps me a lot. Now, a behavior that dogs really enjoy, rolling in the grass. When your dog rolls in the grass, it's doing more than just playing. From an ancestral point of view, rolling could be a tactic to mask their scent, a crucial skill when they depended on hunting to survive. Even though your dog doesn't need to hunt now, this instinct is still present. It can also be a way to make their mark clear to other dogs. Sometimes it's simply an attempt to get rid of a smell they don't like, like shampoo after a bath. Additionally, rolling is a way to stretch and express happiness. When a dog rolls over on its back, it's in a moment of pure joy, indicating that it feels safe and happy. Finally, let's talk about a behavior that's a bit confusing, stealing your things and running away from you. Although it may be a headache for you, for them, it's an activity full of excitement and, in a way, a demonstration of affection. Some breeds, like Golden Retrievers, Yorkshire Terriers and Papillons, are more inclined to become small kleptomaniacs. It doesn't matter if it's a sock, a toy or even something more valuable. They do it because they find it fun and want to play with you. Some dogs see your belongings as toys and love the idea of a funny chase. For others, it may be a way to get your attention. They know which objects you value and by taking them, they ensure that you'll chase them and spend time with them. It's their unique way of saying, hey, play with me. At the end, dogs truly have fascinating and quirky behaviors each with unique reasons rooted in science, instinct, and their bond with us. From tilting their heads to circling before doing their business, these actions reveal how incredible our canine companions are. By understanding their behaviours, we not only appreciate them more, but also strengthen our connection with them. Thank you so much for watching this video and exploring the world of canine quirks with me. If you found it interesting, make sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. And don't forget to check back the day after tomorrow. Our next video will cover an exciting topic you won't want to miss. See you soon.